Welcome back. Get ready to dive into the world of tech with MA Tech. Bringing you the latest updates, reviews, and insights in just a few seconds. The adoption of Border Reduction Structure, BRS, for the iPhone 16's display presents both opportunities and challenges. This innovative process aims to reduce bezel thickness by modifying wiring and circuitry, enhancing the device's aesthetic appeal and screen-to-body ratio. However, suppliers reportedly face difficulties in scaling production to meet Apple's demand for the upcoming launch, potentially delaying widespread availability of these advanced panels. Thinner bezels contribute to a more immersive viewing experience by maximizing screen space and minimizing distractions around the display. Apple's previous efforts in bezel reduction with the iPhone 15 Pro resulted in enhanced visual impact, where images, videos, and on-screen content appeared more vibrant and engaging. This design refinement aligns with consumer preferences for sleek, modern devices that prioritize screen clarity and usability. The complexity of implementing BRS complicates screen manufacturing, posing challenges in achieving consistent quality and reliability across mass production. Suppliers must overcome technical hurdles to ensure seamless integration of thinner bezels without compromising structural integrity or display performance. Apple's meticulous standards for product excellence necessitate thorough testing and refinement before incorporating new technologies into its flagship devices. While uncertainties surround the feasibility of BRS for the iPhone 16, its successful implementation would mark a significant achievement in display innovation. Consumers would benefit from enhanced visual aesthetics and immersive experiences, reinforcing Apple's position as a leader in smartphone design. However, delays in panel availability could impact initial market reception, underscoring the importance of balancing technological advancements with production readiness. Rumors surrounding the iPhone 16 models suggest differing refresh rate strategies between the Pro models and the standard iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus. While the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max are expected to retain their 120Hz adaptive refresh rates with support for always-on displays, there are no indications that Apple plans to increase the refresh rate for the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus. These models are likely to continue with a fixed 90Hz refresh rate. Adaptive refresh rates enhance user experience by dynamically adjusting the display's refresh rate based on content and usage. This feature optimizes smoothness and responsiveness during scrolling, gaming, and multimedia playback. Always-on display support further enhances usability by providing glanceable information without unlocking the device, improving convenience and efficiency. While display brightness enhances visibility, battery efficiency is equally crucial for prolonged device usage. Balancing these factors ensures optimal performance and user satisfaction, especially in modern smartphones used throughout the day. Recent rumors suggest that Apple aims to improve battery efficiency with the iPhone 16 by adopting new OLED technology. Samsung Display, a key supplier for Apple, reportedly plans to introduce blue phosphorescence technology in OLED panels. This technological shift from blue fluorescent to blue phosphorescence aims to reduce power consumption without compromising display quality. Theoretical benefits include extended battery life, allowing users to use their phones longer between charges. If implemented in the iPhone 16, the adoption of blue phosphorescence OLED could enhance its energy efficiency significantly. Users would benefit from longer battery life while enjoying vibrant and high-quality visuals. This improvement aligns with Apple's commitment to advancing sustainability and user experience through innovative technology solutions. By integrating energy-efficient display technology, Apple can differentiate its devices in the competitive smartphone market. Enhanced battery life appeals to consumers seeking reliable performance throughout the day. The strategic adoption of OLED advancements also positions Apple as a leader in sustainable technology practices, addressing environmental concerns while delivering cutting-edge features. Battery life remains a critical focus for smartphone manufacturers, including Apple, as it impacts user satisfaction and device performance. Innovations in display technology, such as more power-efficient OLED panels, present opportunities to enhance the longevity of iPhone models and meet consumer expectations for extended usage between charges. While the direct involvement of Samsung display supplying panels for this year's iPhones is speculative, 
Their expertise in OLED technology suggests potential collaborations. Samsung displays advancements, like transitioning to blue phosphorescence technology, aim to improve power efficiency in OLED panels. If adopted in upcoming iPhone models, these advancements could significantly benefit battery life, aligning with Apple's commitment to enhancing user experience through technological innovation. The readiness of more power-efficient OLED panels for the iPhone 16 hinges on logistical and technological readiness. Manufacturers must ensure production capabilities and quality standards meet Apple's stringent requirements. While timelines are uncertain, Apple's proactive approach to adopting advancements that improve device performance suggests a willingness to integrate such innovations when feasible. Integrating energy-efficient OLED panels would offer strategic advantages for Apple, enhancing competitiveness in the market. Improved battery life appeals to consumers seeking reliable performance, especially with intensive use. Apple's commitment to sustainability and user satisfaction underscores the potential benefits of leveraging advanced display technologies in its flagship devices. Rumors surrounding the iPhone 16 suggest potential advancements in display technology, including the adoption of a new process called border reduction structure. This innovative approach targets improvements in wiring and circuitry, aiming to reduce the thickness of phone display bezels, particularly the bottom bezel. For devices like the iPhone, known for symmetrical bezel designs, this could lead to uniformly thinner bezels, enhancing the overall aesthetic and screen-to-body ratio. Thinner bezels offer several advantages beyond visual appeal. They maximize screen space, allowing for larger displays within the same device footprint. This enhancement enhances the immersive viewing experience for multimedia content and gaming. Additionally, thinner bezels contribute to a sleeker and more modern device design, reflecting current trends in smartphone aesthetics. While intriguing, the adoption of border reduction structure for the iPhone 16's display remains speculative. Manufacturers must overcome technical challenges to ensure reliability and maintain display quality. Achieving uniform bezel reduction without compromising structural integrity or display performance requires precision engineering and rigorous testing. Apple's commitment to quality and design excellence suggests careful consideration of such innovations before implementation. Incorporating thinner bezels aligns with consumer expectations for cutting-edge design and functionality. Competitors in the smartphone market are also exploring similar advancements to differentiate their products. Apple's potential adoption of border reduction structure could set new standards for display aesthetics and usability, influencing industry trends and consumer preferences. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech content. See you next time on MA Tech.